Hey guys, welcome to what is undoubtedly the most unusual, unique campsite in long, long honeymoon history. And that's saying something. We are at Shumway Farms. This is a small family owned dairy farm in Afton, Wyoming. Not too far from Grand Teton National Park. It's kind of in the same corridor. We camped here last night with cows, calves, chickens. We have chickens. Sheep. Bah. At least one goat. We got at least one rooster who did not oversleep this morning. So this is a place where you can wake up, have some breakfast, step outside, and watch everyone have their breakfast. If you've never been on a farm, then you owe it to yourself to have this kind of experience. Now this is a real farm. You gotta watch where you step because that's probably not a big patty of mud beneath your feet. Yes, there may be a few flies that you might need to shoo from time to time in the air. They're pretty girl. If you're not familiar with Harvest Host, it's basically a club. You pay one flat fee every year to join, and then you can stay at different places around the country, usually wineries or breweries, but there are also several farms. And if you're into golf, there's a golf course membership too, apparently. They've only got a handful of RV parking spots here. I believe right now they have three. Gates open. This is your chance. When we pulled up yesterday, it was kind of late afternoon, and the owner, Jody Shumway, was riding around the property on an ATV, and he told us where it would be best to park. We maneuvered into our parking space, and we started just taking a look around at the dairy farm. They have a bunch of dairy cows here that they milk twice daily. Once very early in the morning, and then the second time between 6 and 7 p.m. So we were here in time for the milking and went in and got to watch that process a little bit. The Shumway Farms store is operated completely on the honor system. Ice cream, milk, yogurt, butter. They also have some steak. While we were here, we saw people pull up all day long. We'll go in, select the items they want, and check themselves out. So the store here at the farm is a self-pay store. So you basically walk in, you pick out what you want, and then you come over to this little checkout, tell them what you're getting, and you swipe your credit card and go. You know, when I went to film school in New York City, I don't recall seeing too many stores operated on the honor system. I don't know might work might work maybe some enterprising new yorker could try it <laughs> let us know how that works out this morning i got to go for a ride with john shumway on one of the atvs we took it out into the nearby pasture where they release the cows every day the cows get to lounge around in the pasture every day and then in the evening they're brought indoors and of course they're milked. So I think the cows are living a good life here. Very beautiful environment in this part of Wyoming. If you've never been to Wyoming, especially this time of year, the air is cool and dry and there's beautiful autumn colors all around. You've got rolling bucolic hills, bucolic hills. And it's just a beautiful, interesting, unique place to camp. You know, the idea with Harvest Toast is you roll in in the afternoon, drop anchor, hang out for the night, make some purchases at the winery, brewery, or dairy farm store, and then you move on. Now, they do not have a dump station here or anything like that, but they do offer potable water, which I thought was quite nice because it gives us an opportunity to top off our fresh water tank. And again, there's really no cost to you once you've paid that Harvest Host membership. But for Shumway Farms, it would help them if you make some purchases in their farm store and maybe spread the word about what they're doing here. Now, while we were riding around on the ATV, John explained to me the concept basically behind this farm. The key word is regenerative, and it has to do with the soil. Yeah, the, so the difference between 
organic and regenerative. Or, organic's great, but, uh, and, and in fact, we buy a lot of organic, as much organic as possible, but regenerative ag takes it that much further. It, it focuses on the soil, because without healthy soils, there's no healthy food. They leave a certain amount of vegetation and growth out there in the pasture intentionally so that it will basically break down, decay, and go back into the soil and will produce a better soil, which ultimately produces healthier, more nutrient-rich milk that presumably would taste better also. This really feels like traditional America to me. Being on a family farm, talking to great Wyoming people about what they do every day. And while you're here, you're gonna see business being conducted, especially in the early morning hours and in the late afternoon hours. I know the cows appreciate a helping hand from time to time. There we go. There are at least three work dogs who are loving life working on the farm. You'll see those dogs riding around on the ATVs, and when you step outside of your RV, you're probably going to see those dogs as well. Those dogs are gonna be very inquisitive, and they're gonna come up and want to greet you. And here's a secret. You can throw the tennis ball for them, and they'll love you forever. Who wants it? So it's really great. I want to give a big tip of my hat and thank you to the Shumways. For children, I think this would be a wonderful destination. There are a lot of kids out there that have never set foot on a farm and never seen farm animals in this type of environment. They do have a small playground here for kids, but at the moment, I don't think there's an organized program necessarily that kids can go through to see the farm animals. They are just getting started with Harvest Hosts, as are we. We just recently signed up for Harvest Hosts. We are affiliates, and if you're interested in checking out the program, you will find an affiliate link below. This is an excellent example of the type of unique experiences you can have with an RV. I really think you have to break out of the full hookup mentality. Nothing wrong with full hookups. We all occasionally enjoy hookups but get off the beaten path a little bit. Try some different experiences. You know, I spoke with John Shumway about their experience in the Harvest Host program because you gotta understand that they are taking a bit of a risk allowing RV travelers to come here. John told me, quite honestly, most people have been really good. A couple of people have been jerks. <laughs> So if you do decide to join Harvest Hosts and come visit the Shumways, don't be a jerk. Be respectful, be considerate, understand this isn't Disney World, this is a real working family farm. Make some purchases in the store and say thank you to your hosts for their hospitality. Very casual laid back checkout procedure by the way. You can linger in the morning they don't rush you off the property like a lot of places I could name. This gets added to the list of really interesting travel experiences that we've enjoyed on Long Long Honeymoon. So this was our campsite last night. We camped at Melvin Brewing in Alpine, Wyoming. Melvin Brewing is this large brewery you can see behind me that makes all kinds of great craft beer and I've been drinking it for years in the town of Jackson. This brewery is located about a 50 minute drive south of Jackson. So it's actually very convenient to Grand Teton National Park. It's located in a gorgeous area. The ride into Melvin Brewing was quite interesting. You turn off on this unpaved road. Looks like there's another way to get here. And you go kind of through a rock quarry, or at least the way that we came in. That was the way that our RV GPS directed us. I don't know for sure if it was the best way, but it got us here. We're walking to the brewery now to give something back. They 
do have a restaurant and pub on the property. Last night, it was Beer Flight Friday, so we got beer flights at half price and could taste a lot of the different beers that they make and there were a lot of great choices. I'm an IPA guy so I tried a lot of the hoppier pale ales and IPAs. As you can see it's a really spacious property here at the brewery. We just pulled in, picked a parking spot and we're good to go. There's a lot of dispersed camping in the immediate vicinity of the brewery, so if you didn't want to stay right next to the brewery, it'd be pretty easy to find a campsite on the nearby river. Again, this is a working business, kind of like Shumway Farms. It's really interesting to be on the property and to watch business as usual taking place. And of course, anytime craft beer is involved, it can be especially fun for some of us. Here at Melvin Brewing, there's not only the restaurant, they have a really nice patio out front with a bunch of picnic tables. The food was really good. I tried the hot chicken curry because I love spicy Thai food and it was great. I would definitely recommend it. So booking a Harvest Host stay is relatively easy. They have a really simple to use app that you can download onto your phone. That's probably the quickest way to find a location and to start your booking process. The easiest thing for me to do is just to zoom in on the map to the part of the country where I wanna look. You can also search by like town name, but sometimes you may not know the name of the town you're wanting to go to, but you sort of have an idea of the general area of a state that you wanna be in. So for this particular week, we stayed at two different harvest hosts near Jackson, Wyoming. So I sort of zoomed into that part of the state. And then you can see the different icons here. The little tractors are farms, the beer steins are breweries different locations have different symbols. Our wine glass for a winery and then a building for like museums and that sort of thing. Once you click in you'll see how many spaces they have available and the length of RV that they will allow. That does include the total length of your RV. So if you are towing a uh, towed, if you're in a motorhome, if you're towing a travel trailer and the length is shorter than what you are, if you're willing to unhitch you can do that in some places but you need to talk to them and ask about that. It'll tell you if pets are okay, because not every location allows pets. And then it'll give you the contact information and details on how to book that particular location that you're looking at. Because these are individually run businesses, they do have different methods as far as booking goes. Some have a spot on their website that you can go to. Some of them you just have to call and talk to somebody. Sometimes you're gonna text somebody. Sometimes you're gonna send an email. It really just varies on the location. And some of them want more notice and some of them you can call same day. So you really just need to do a little research on the app and figure out what the process is for the particular place you're interested in visiting and go from there. We are Harvest Host affiliates, so if you're interested in purchasing a Harvest Host membership, then you can find the link beneath this video, click that, and you will receive a discount when you join through our link, and we will receive a small commission. I will point out a couple of potential issues with Harvest Hosts. Uh, first of all, some locations want you to book pretty far in advance, and the way we tend to travel with our RV, we bounce around from location to location and really often don't really know where we're going to be from one day to the next. Not all of the locations require that sort of advanced booking. Some locations don't want you to run a generator, so if you're in the hot, humid southern portions of the United States, that could be a significant problem if you really need air conditioning. And thirdly, some have pretty restrictive arrival and departure times. Shumway was pretty laid back as well as Melvin Brewing. You can't get much more laid back than this place. The only sounds are the low rumble of some beer making equipment behind me. So that's it guys, a look at a couple of really weird, wacky, Wyoming camping destinations. We've had a great time here in Wyoming as always. It's always a highlight of our camping travels every year to visit this corner of Wyoming and just enjoy this uniquely beautiful part of our country. Thanks for tuning in. As always, you know what you need to do? Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Blow loho. If you are already a member of Harvest Hosts and have some suggestions of great locations for us to visit, post a comment, let us know, and who knows, maybe we'll make a video there next.